Hey everybody, Will here. Uh, I know I've been pretty quiet on YouTube and my social medias for the past good while, probably like two years or so. Um, had a lot going on the past couple years, you know, got married, uh, had a lot of private label work going on. And I've just kind of come to the conclusion that I don't want to be like a one man sweatshop anymore. So I started building an online leather craft school, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I've been working on it probably about the last year, year and a half. Uh, it's been very slow progress because, well, I have to learn everything about, you know, shooting video, editing videos, audio, all that stuff. And just like basically downloading everything in my brain in a cohesive manner to teach people. And uh, yeah, I'm slowly but surely chugging away on that. So I would love if y'all could sign up to my mailing list. Uh, I'm not gonna spam you. I'm literally just gonna send you an email and say, hey, my Leathercraft 101 is dropped. If you'd like to check it out, click this link. And then probably like a year later, send you an email saying, hey, Leathercraft 201's dropped. Please click this link if you'd like to check that out. Uh, and then way in the future, 301, which is gonna be like all kinds of machinery, machine sewing stuff. Uh, anyway, just, yeah, please, please do me a favor and click that link. It's gonna be like a subscription-based thing. You could just chug along through the lessons at your own pace and uh, just use whatever whatever helps you in the lessons. I'm not trying to sell you like a whole chunk of expensive lessons as a, as a package. You know, I just, just want you to be able to take bites out of it. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna be rambling a lot in this video because uh, I just have a lot on my mind. Um, like I said, I'm tired of being a one-man sweatshop and I know that probably sounds like douchey to say, hey, you know, you got this nice shop, you work for yourself, you know, like blah, 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 but like, I'm to the point where I get to my shop, I open the door and I just like dread sitting here by myself all day, making the same stuff in and out. And I know like the uh, one way to go with that is to just hire people, train them on it, and uh, just kind of like expand. But that's not me. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a craftsman. I like to, I do best when there's like a, problem to solve or like a hill to climb over and then find a way to solve it and optimize it and then kind of make it production style like that's where I kind of thrive and that's just how my brain works so that's why I'm pursuing teaching because you know I could come up with all these cool patterns come up with ways to make them easier and then teach everybody how to make them so it's like a win-win you know like I'm fulfilled uh, you're fulfilled because like you're making progress and you're learning all this stuff that's taken me like a decade to learn and traveling to Japan a bunch of times and spending a bunch of time and money over there. Yeah, just like I've come to the conclusion I just don't want to do this for the rest of my life, coming to work, being bummed out and just kind of working on the same stuff all day every day, completely alone. <laughs> so I'd like to start teaching, I'd like to get some local students and I've been getting local students too. Uh, so it's just really fun like sharing my passion for Leathercraft and seeing that ignite in others. Like I said, I'm working on these classes. And in the meantime, though, I'm gonna put out like a weekly vlog, just kind of talking about what's going on with me, uh, what's going on with the classes, more importantly, and what y'all are probably more interested in. And uh, just progress, you know, maybe time projections of when my 101 may come out, what, what projects are included in the 101. But I mean, I'm gonna have a bunch of patterns because I know y'all love patterns. And But the real meat and potatoes of my classes are like all the tools you need, all the techniques you need to learn, but more importantly, how to care for your tools, how to modify your tools. You know, like a lot of these tools come in either pretty rough shape or just like a blank canvas where it's not good at any one thing, but it has enough meat on the bones to be modified to be good at one of a number of things. So I teach you like what tools you should spend your money on, what tools you don't need, and how to modify the tools and make them work for you for your like particular tasks and how to sharpen everything. Cause like everything you use needs to be just like razor sharp. I'm, I'm talking literally razor sharp. You need to be able to shave hair off your arm, shave hair off your face, like with your skiving knife, you know, like you literally need to be able to shave with it. Your bevelers, you know, your punches, literally everything that's gonna be cutting leather in any way, shape or form needs to be razor sharp. And they all have their own like particular methods of sharpening. And some of the stuff is kind of outside the box. You gotta get a little weird with it to get it really sharp and stropping it and all that stuff. So like these classes are to arm you with all that knowledge and basically amass a small array of like very high quality tools that aren't necessarily that expensive 
and then just like hone them in and just make them perfect for what you're doing. And that's really what my intention for this 101 class is. Uh, 101 kind of makes you think beginners, but it's really like foundational. A lot of people that even people that have been doing this for a long time, like I see, they don't necessarily have the fundamentals and it shows in their work. And I mean, a lot of people just like are in this to make money and uh, they don't necessarily care what the final product is to a degree. You know, like obviously they're not gonna send out a hunk of shit, but like it's a kind of like a good enough mentality. And like that is so not me. Like I am the opposite of good enough. Like I'll spend twice as long to make something 10% better. And uh, like that's kind of like my Achilles heel and like, you know, like traditional business. But like, if I'm not happy at the end of the day and I'm not sleeping well because I sent something out that was like messed up in any way that kind of like irks me, like it's not worth it. There's other ways to you know, make money if you just want to make money. Well, I'm just rambling. Like this video is going to be a lot of rambling. I apologize. I think I have a little bit of heat exhaustion. It's been like 100 degrees here the past like three weeks. I've been fishing way more than I should. Yeah, so anyway, like it's all about the fundamentals. And you can't progress on to making nicer items if your tools aren't physically capable of like doing the operations that's required to make those items. So that's the gist of my 101 class. And uh, I like, I tell you everything. I tell, talk about leathers, the good, the bad, uh, how you should focus on certain leathers. Uh, I feel like when you start, you tend to just like try everything. And that's a hindrance because different leathers and different tools have like different properties. And you should really minimize your variables when beginning. And uh, that's on my list of videos to make. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop eating into all my, my videos of things to talk about. But anyway, long story short, or long story very long, I know all y'all want patterns and build along videos. Honestly, you probably just want like a PDF sheet that tells you how to build it. But since I'm doing this like, uh, trying to make a little bit of money, not trying to get rich or anything, like I don't want to put it all in one place so one person's going to buy it and then just send it to all of their friends. So like you're going to have to watch my build along videos and take notes. And not only does that help me by not having people just like rip me off <laughs> and send stuff everywhere for free, but it helps you. Like if you write this stuff down, you're going to actually learn it. Um, it's very easy like in today's day and age, and I'm, I'm guilty of it as the next guy. You know, you watch 15 YouTube videos on something and then none of it sticks. You know, you got nothing in your brain, so you got to keep referencing these things. So I want you to take my classes, watch every single video and every single lesson, and take notes on it. You know, you should have like one of those marble notebooks or honestly, like I've gotten to the point with all my notes, it takes me almost as long to find notes on a build to build the next one as it does to build it. So I'm thinking about digitizing them. Like if you got an iPad, you know, take your notes on there and like tag it or something. But anyway, man, I'm rambling today i think i had too much coffee I'm all zooted so yeah i'm gonna have a lot of patterns i'm gonna have build along videos with the patterns and i'm gonna talk about all the leather thicknesses you know like how to the things you're gonna run into how to circumvent them and just how to build an item and uh, that's what's been taking me a really long time because i have to think of all kinds of stuff that y'all would want to build and then uh pattern it all out in like various bricking iron spacings you know like three millimeter 3.38 3.85 because I know everybody has preferences and some people just like don't have all the pricking irons. So I need to make my pattern initially or just take a pattern that I usually use and then size it for all the different irons because I make all my dimensions according to pricking iron spacings. And then, I mean, that's pretty quick to do, but then I have to build them and make sure it all works perfectly because I don't want to put stuff out there that's going to screw you all up because it's all about teaching people. So that's kind of what I'm chugging along with right now. And that's what I would say is more like the 101 beginner stuff is my items. Uh, I'm going to make crazy stuff, crazy hand stitch stuff in 201 and even crazier like machine stitch stuff in 301. But I'm basically trying to give you all the patterns that you need to like arm yourself with, you know, card slot widths and heights and all that stuff. And then you can embellish it with like swoopy pockets and all these design things. So that's going to take a while and that's why I think I'm probably about six months out on uh, releasing my classes because I got to do all those, do all the videos, size them in all the different pricking iron patterns and uh, then go back through all my videos and kind of fix some places where I may have misspoken or kind of fill in links to all the stuff that you need to buy and blah, 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 blah. 
But like I'm saying, it's a tremendous amount of work. And I don't mean to make this video to complain, although it probably sounds like it. Um, I just want to introduce like what I'm getting into. And I really would like to get some people to sign up to my list uh, because I would hate to do all this work, the culmination of like two years of work and then not have anybody to share it with. So please do me a favor and, uh, and click on the link in the description and sign up for my mailing list. Uh, I think you're really gonna like what I'm putting out. It just, it does not exist. There's not one place to learn everything you need to know about Leathercraft. And I'm not saying I know everything you need to know about Leathercraft, but I know a lot about Leathercraft uh, in, making, in terms of making small goods. Like uh, if y'all aren't familiar with me, I've been doing this for about 10 years now, full time. I've been in Japan uh, a lot. <laughs> Probably spent a total of like, over three months there. Uh, I've trained with Gosan of Go Leathers. I trained with Niwa San of Niwa Leathers. And uh, I made shoes with uh, Ikuma San and Yamaguchi with my buddy Jake. He's a really cool guy. And I learned all kinds of different techniques, shoemaking, that uh, I've kind of translated into my, my small goes as well. So like, I put in the time, I put in the work, I put in the effort. I've stayed up all night trying to solve problems. You know, like. Not a lot of people have done what I've done. I know what I know as a result. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing it with y'all and uh, getting these classes rolling. So, look for my video next week on whatever the hell I'm going to be rambling about then. Catch you next time.